But today I'm going to show you a very different pasta recipe. The star ingredient being spinach. Well, confused? Don't be. The recipe is cannelloni. Hey guys, it's me, the Bombay chef Varun Namdar, and welcome to Raj Shri Food. Let's start making the recipe of cannelloni after the show packaging. I'm going to divide this recipe into three different components. The first one being making the tomato sauce. Now this one is not a classic tomato sauce which is made for cannelloni. This one is my tomato sauce because I like it a touch sweet, a touch sour and just a little bit of spiciness in that. So if you like it this way, make it this way. Otherwise, classically, no vinegar, no sugar. Just salt and pepper and that's it. But you can take your own call. Let's begin with olive oil. Allow this to heat on medium to high flame. Do not overheat the oil. Once the oil heats up, let's add in chopped garlic. You can also slice or crush garlic if you like. Let's saute this lightly. Once the raw flavor goes away, I'll be adding in thyme. Well, instead of thyme, you can also add in basil or oregano. Choice is completely yours. Saute this lightly. And I'm going to add in freshly made tomato puree. Now this could be completely pasty or it could be chunky. Well, I like it midway, so I'm leaving it like that. But again, you can take your call. Stir this well. And to this, I'm going to add in salt and pepper, as basic as it can get. Chili flakes again, if you please, but I'm adding black pepper, freshly cracked, along with sugar. and white vinegar. Now again, the sugar in this recipe is to not only make it sweet, but also to kind of balance the flavor of tomatoes. Well, also the vinegar in this case, because it's otherwise going to be kind of disbalanced. So to just kind of bring in that balance, vinegar with sugar and salt. And there you go with the most amazing sauce. Let this boil for around seven, eight minutes on medium flame and your tomato sauce will be done and ready for the cannelloni. In the show Game of Thrones, there are several scenes where they're shown seating and having a feast together. My favorite moment is when Arya Stark returns to the house of Walder Frey and you all know what happened there. Well, with this, the tomato sauce is done and ready. Let's keep this aside and move into the second component and that is actually making the cannelloni roll. For making these cannelloni rolls, I'm going to need three, four basic ingredients. The first one is lasagna sheets. Well, in case you're lucky and you can lay your hands on cannelloni tubes, by all means, blanch them and put them directly to use. If at all, you're like me and you get your hands on lasagna, all you have to do is blanch them and the sheets become ready and plump like this. The next is to make the stuffing and this is going to be spinach as promised. So let's take spinach in a large bowl. This is blanched and chopped spinach. The next I'm going to use is cottage cheese, paneer or ricotta, whatever you can lay your hands on. A touch of salt and pepper. And lastly to this, I'm going to add in a tablespoon full of cheese, which is made into a nice and smooth paste. Well, this one is basic processed cheese. Nothing spectacular about it. Let's give all of this a good mix. With this, your filling is done and ready. Let's move in to stuffing this into the lasagna sheets. Let's lay this like that. Let's take in some spoonfuls of this mixture. Well, even if you overdo this filling, be rest assured, your family is going to thank you. Let's roll this up like a cigar, but a thick one at that, something like this. And with this, your rolls are done and ready. The next step is to assemble all of this together. 
in a baked dish or a casserole. So let's do that. The assembling is as simple as bringing all these wonderful things together. Beginning with tomato sauce. To this, I'm of course going to build it my style. So I'm going to add in some extra cottage cheese because I like it nice and cheesy. I'm also going to add in the remaining filling or the remaining stuffing, however you call this. Because remember the fact that this is a whole casserole that gets baked and goes straight on the table. So build it up the way you please and your family likes. A touch of salt. And next goes in the cannelloni roll. Well, I'm a very private person in my, of course, personal space. I don't like parties too much, I don't like going out too much. All I need is good food, good music, family time. And that's all I need for New Year's. Well, this recipe is definitely going to be my star attraction for this New Year's Eve. Let's finally top this up with melted cheese. The final step is to bake this 200 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. And while this is baking, let's move into the next segment, Knowledge is Power. Well, legend has it that in the 13th century, a traveler named Marco Polo saw noodles getting cooked in China. Well, he thought that would be a wonderful addition to Italian cuisine. And that literally is the birth of pasta in Italy. Possibly one of the most controversial statements, but legend has it. Well, if you know more on the story, let us start a healthy conversation in the comment section below. Till then, let's check where the cannelloni has reached. With this, our cannelloni is perfectly baked and ready. Try this easy to make cannelloni at home because it's New Year's and New Year's means family time. Like the video if you've liked it and keep watching Rajshri Food. Bye for now.